regardless of gender, race, economics, or religion, cyclists share a common path. It's easy to take our freedom for granted when we can go anywhere we want when we want. But what if a disease or tragic accident prevents your legs from working like they should? Find out about special bicycle equipment that benefits those with physical limitations today on Keeping Up with Casey Jones. My first guest takes his wheels everywhere. Welcome David Thornton to the show. Hi, Thank welcome. Thanks. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you. Well, I really had a good time meeting with you and talking about the different things that you're doing with the Optimus Club. And we got a chance to do a little bit of work last night with, the, with kids and the bike competition. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about what kind of stuff you're doing with the Optimus Club and kids. Tell me about that program. Well, we, <coughs> excuse me, we, um, we have uh, uh, our, our big event right now is with, the, uh, is with the Bicycle Rodeo, like you saw last night. Um, and we have that every fall. And we've generated a lot of interest uh, with it in that um, years ago we had set up to where we were able to establish a program where we could provide bikes for needy kids. And it's gained strength, and last night was one of the biggest showings I think we've had in quite some time. And as you saw, we, uh, we had drawings for free bikes for kids, and, and, the, and the teachers were telling us how enthusiastic the kids were um, because many of them had never ridden a bike or, you know, didn't have a bike of their own. And so it's, uh, it's, it's impressive to have that opportunity to provide that. Um, our big fundraiser is... Um, our um, golf tournament in April, which, uh, or April or June, it varies from, depending on the weather, um, as to providing a source of funds for helping to, to provide these bikes. I think last year we, we provided 48 bikes That's for wonderful. kids. And we also did a deal for you know, another vendor to help us out with helmets. Well, and, and that's one thing that I really enjoyed yesterday was being able to fit the helmets and, mm -hmm. and you know, for the kids that were riding. Right. And, and I love the idea of working with kids. One of the things that I, I really find interesting, having worked with a Safe Routes to School program, mm -hmm. is trying to get kids to bike or walk. And that's one of the things I, I really have been thinking and it really brought to my attention since the Safe Routes to School issue is how even people in wheelchairs, I mean, first of all, you've got kids that need to ride on the little kids that are going to be riding on sidewalks. But what's it like to be in a wheelchair and be trying to get around? <laughs> Tell me about transportation, you know, uh, uh, using wheels uh, on a bike. Well, um, I've recently become acclimated to a van where I'm in what's called a fixed frame wheelchair. You don't fold it up. It just comes up into the driver's seat or to the driver's area. There's no longer a seat there, and you lock it into place. And you drive from there, and that's that's fine. I mean, that's all well and good. Sure, but if you're not driving, how do you get around? Public trans like? transportation can be uh, a little iffy. You uh, you have a a few options out there from the T, which is the Fort Worth transportation system. They have buses that are acclimated for people in wheelchairs. Um, you have their MIT system. Uh, Nets, I think, is a system that is in operation with. Um, non-emergency type transportation. But one of the obstacles you do have has to do with scheduling. Uh, no matter what the situation may be, you have certain time frames that you have to fit into and you have to give certain leeway, like maybe as long as a week in advance of a doctor's appointment, whereas an obstacle might be you talk to a doctor on, a, say, Wednesday afternoon, they want to see you the next day. So. Right. You're, you're usually out of luck. Well, what about using your wheelchair as independent, getting around independently? How do you do that uh, with, you know, like, well, let's say you just wanted to go a couple blocks away to, a, you know, maybe the pick up some milk at the stop and, you know, mm -hmm. shop or whatever. What, how, that, that, can, that can be done in the city that I live in, which is not Fort Worth, although I grew up in Fort Worth. Um, we used to have an area at the end of our street where you turned onto another street. You could dry, ride the sidewalk. And there was a cutout in the median where you could cross the major north-south thoroughfare 
and go, like, say, to a Kroger's and pick up stuff and come back. They took away that cutaway and moved it up one block north, which for me is, is kind of a major inconvenience. Um, one of the problems that you see a lot is that um, you will see curb cuts that were established years ago that are deteriorating, like sometimes in cities like Fort Worth. And now that we're building this infrastructure, we need to make sure that we are keeping up with it. I mean, that we are maintaining that infrastructure. And that can be a hazard. Uh, you also see a lot of people that just like to stand on the curb cut not knowing what it is or park there with their other vehicles. And it, uh, it gets frustrating sometimes. But Speaking of parking, you were saying, you know, you have your van. What about, uh, you know, being downtown, trying to get around as a handicapped person downtown and, you know, parking your van? How... Are, the, are there obstacles there or things that could use improvement? Uh, back to the, the issue of the infrastructure, there are some curb cuts that need refabbing or, you know, refurbishing. Uh, I believe it was 1974 that the National Paraplegia Foundation had its convention here. And Fort Worth did a commendable job putting down uh, curb cuts. Sadly, I don't think a lot of those curb cuts have ma been maintained. And you see major gashes out of them and sometimes even the sidewalks you know need maintaining there's major divots in those well let's talk a little bit more about getting around in a wheelchair and especially how that has to do with bicycling right after this quick break Fort Worth 